there is hope and there is optimism. Can I just get a, a show of hands? How many people marched against the unjust and illegal and catastrophic invasion of Iraq? Me too. I don't know if you're aware, but in just a few months' time, we're going to have the 20th anniversary of the first protests against that war leading into next year. And we know in our hearts we were right to oppose that war. We were right. History has proven us right. It was a catastrophe. Millions have died. Millions had to flee the region. Instability, insurgency, violence. The world is a less safe place. It has been catastrophic. We were right. And one of the reasons we know we were right was Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, the great truth tellers of this war. And Julian is sitting in a prison cell while the real criminals have gone scot-free. So th this is what I'm going to say to you today. Can we mobilise, like we did nearly 20 years ago, 33 million people around the planet marched against that war. Up to 2 million people on the streets of London. A million on the streets of Rome. Sydney at the time saw its biggest protest in history. Where are they all now for Julian Assange and for WikiLeaks? Where are they all now? They must in their hearts know that what Julian has done by telling the truth of this war was right and just. And they must help us seek justice. So let's work really hard in the next six months to get people out on the streets, to march again. Because if we don't, if we let Julian Assange be extradited and he dies in a maximum security prison in the US, then this new war, this new front that is being run by dark powers in the US, we will get another war and another one. And we'll only have ourselves to blame if we don't come together again. So let's make sure in the next six months we get to the streets and we march for Julian, we march for his freedom, and we march for the legacy of press freedoms and make sure that they don't win the final front, and that is a front against press freedoms and truth-telling. Thank you.